Hey, hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to my channel, Gardening Fun Organics. Hope you guys have a great day today. Right now, it's an overcast, uh, slight breeze, and uh, very welcomed actually. Uh, the last couple of weeks been nothing but triple digit weather. So uh, I want to give you guys an update on, on the pumpkins I have. And uh, the jackal is completely gone now. So wait a I've already weighed out all of those, so now I have an empty basket. Uh, this right here is the Big Max. I just gave it a feeding of uh, Western B1 and some Grow. Oh, actually some Bloom from Liconox. And this is the feeding that it's been getting. Um, I strongly believe that I do not have any Wyatt's Wonder. I think what we're looking at is all the Big Max. This one is a Big Max. That's a Big Max. And the other two over here are also Big Maxes. This is a Big Max. And let me get around here. And this is a Big Max. So after following all of these vines, I noticed it went into the Big Max. Now as far as the vines for um, the Wyatt's Wonder, which is, you know, this one right here, because uh, I pulled out one, so we should have only two. So there's one, and here's the second one. So one and two. So when I follow this one here, let me see, see it goes under here. It's not quite the, uh, <clears throat> it's not attached to this pumpkin here. It goes right around. Uh, she goes in here, comes down, and starts to shoot out here. And it goes all the way to the end, starts so wrapping itself around, but there's no pumpkin. So I think what I'm going to do today with these, either today or tomorrow, just remove this basket and uh, consider my Wyatt's Wonder to be completed. Done. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to harvest this zucchini here. Um, as far as my other squashes, like this one here, I'll go ahead and harvest this, but I think I'm gonna clean up this garden. Um, let's see. Because everything's coming to an end now. It's another zucchini over there. Freaking huge zucchini. A little late in pulling those. Look how big that sucker is. Ah, that's like as bigger than my arm, man. I'm trying to move this leaf over here. Look how big that sucker is. Gosh, mildewy leaf. God, I gotta get rid of those. So let me see, I got a zucchini there. I have another zucchini underneath here. Take that away. And then I'll clean up this whole bed and get rid of the rest of all this stuff. And see what I got for my fall coming up. And yeah, and I guess I'll work it that way. Okay, now, so pumpkin update, that's all good. So all we have left, folks, is just Big Macs. That's what you guys are looking at. I got four Big Macs left out of uh, everything else so uh, let me see what we have here I know I had a little white one there's some place over here popping you know I got some flowers I got the bees pollinating still on the little squashes so what I might do is just kind of clean it up maybe I can get a little bit more squash out of that but I doubt it but I'll give it a shot anyway okay Roma Row tomatoes Looking pretty sweet, still nice and clean. I came down here a secondary time, cleaned up uh, some of the leaves that were, you know, infected with the leaf uh, leaf miners. I think one time I called it leaf hopper. Somebody said, "What did you call it?" Anyway, yeah, they're around, you know. They are around. Sometimes they're all the way to the top. Like this one is all the way to the top already. So I'm just taking off these leaves. That's it. Because the branches were dealt with already earlier. So I'll just take off some of these. I like it. Roma tomatoes are coming in now. They are coming in. Let me see. So my first two has fruits. Uh, my second two, we have fruits on this one and more flowers there. Uh, this one, I just see flowers. These two. Have tomatoes there and there. Uh, this one is just the beginning. It's 
is starting right now. Uh, let's see what else. The rest is flowers. No, you get away, honey. You get away down there. The tomato's getting too big for you now. You're going to cut them off. Okay, these two right there. It's just the beginning. This one has some flowers. Uh, this one again at the beginning stages. And this one has flowers. This one again, beginning stages. So, majority of the romas are popping. <clears throat> so that's really good. And then in the back, I got my beef steaks that are growing. The beef steaks are looking actually pretty good. Let me try to get the camera in there. Yeah, they're looking pretty sweet. Let me see. Let's go to the top over here. See if I can climb up here real quick. Oh, by the way, the pole beans are doing really wonderful. They'll be growing pretty big pretty soon. You know, this might be more pole beans. Right in between, I put the pepper. Ah, bad location. But anyway, let me try and hop up here. What do we got? We're at about five minutes. That's not too bad. Oops. Okay. Okay, now we're back at the level of the beefsteak tomatoes. Let's take a look, see. I took the liberty of trimming a lot of the bad stuff out of here and was really cluttered. Well, that's a pretty nice size there. There's another one. That's pretty nice size there. And then we have this cluster over here, down here and here. And they're really, really looking good. There were a couple I had to pull off. The worm got into it. Kind of sort of like this, you know. They kind of weasel their way in. But as far as uh, blight and um, uh, end root rot, haven't experienced it on this. Uh, I have definitely been adding uh, lime and Epsom salt to uh, kind of avoid and prevent that. Apples, it's just starting to turn color now. You can see a little reddish coming in. This one's still green, a little reddish starting to come in. Uh, but I'm gonna definitely have to treat this plant as well. I did dust it too as well. As you guys can see, it is dust here. But a lot of these leaves got dried up during this uh, summer, so it doesn't look like fresh like these leaves here. But I got a lot of new growth coming up, which is really nice. But I also have a lot of webbing and stuff in between. So I'm going to have to take care of that and get rid of all these mildewy, mildewy freaking leaves. Gosh, look at this. I mean, it just gets like overnight it gets like this, you know. I cleaned it up last week and here we go again. So yeah, maintenance is a big thing in the garden. So again, I'll leave you guys with the... Uh, the pumpkin update, you got nothing right now but Big Maxes. I do not have any more jackals. Jackals are gone. And all the Wyatt's wonders uh, seem to have failed at the vine end. So anyway, that is it, folks. That's the update for the pumpkins and the second tier. Uh, I do have my po potatoes over here. I got all my beans lined up over here. Um, and then I have some chives and onions, red and yellow onions over here as well. Uh, these tomato plants are going to come out and these are going to be used for my leafy vegetables right there. And then last thing I wanted to show you guys up here is the flowers that are popping, the marigolds, snapdragons, the perennials. Uh, Leomi is taking a little while, but all my marigolds are doing pretty good. They're all popping up. I got two more seed packets, so... Uh, as these grow up, I'm going to make room and throw more color seeds in there so I can have a variety of color. All right. So anyway, thank you guys for stopping by my channel, Gardening Fun Organics. You guys have a great day. Mr. Paka signing off. Peace. See ya.